Hey everyone, Tappers here again, and welcome back to the final attack, no damage runs. When we last left off, we were about to head to Glacier Man stage. He is our aquatic ice boss of the game, and he resembles Heat Man for some reason. But that doesn't really matter. So, as you can see, we've got the Cold Man theme from Mega Man Base here, and speaking of bass, you can kind of hear a little bass in the background with this MIDI. It almost sounds like the original, but it's still awesome nonetheless. We, we have some new enemies, these snow does, and then we've also got some breakable ice, kind of like in Cold Man, where if you stand on them, they break. We also got snowflakes, which um, can hurt you if they happen to drop on you. They are complete RNG, so it's it can be random if they land on you. I think I had one outtake where it just happen to fall on me, which almost never happens, but whatever. We have Barracuda bots, we got a bunch of uh, death spikes. Also, uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but the ice in the stage is not slippery. So yeah, I'll show that in the outtakes if you need a little proof of concept. Uh, we also have these overhead uh, icicle dropper stalactite no, it's to like tight things. We also had a Wily fridge or a Wily ice box, whatever you want. Wily cooler. I can't think of a name for that. Whatever it is. So this act, these uh, fridges are actually one of the most annoying enemies in the stage because you can't hit them when their ice box is closed, and they tend to home in with shots that whenever they fire on you. So you kind of have to lead your shots, especially there. Uh, we have our mini boss here, a giant squid that kind of looks like it's from Mega Man Unlimited almost. But it's kind of a, an annoying mini boss because you can't tell where those electric bolts come out. So you kind of just have to hope and pray. But once you take one of them out, the rest is easy. This ice box here, you can just completely skip. And the music actually resets at some point, which, eh, whatever. We have a snail here, which, it, you have, if you shoot it, it'll cover itself in its shell, and then it'll shoot off some spikes in a bunch of directions. But, anyway, we're getting close to the end of the stage. I should read off a little profile I made up about uh, Glacier Man. Uh, a good point. He is a cool customer. Get it? Because he's cool he's made of ice and he's a polar opposite of heat man that actually that's not even funny i should stop with that joke uh a bad point is he's non-social because well he's cold as ice okay i'll i'll, I'll stop uh he likes frozen tundras because this may as well be in the antarctic or the north pole or something like that and he dislikes boats because well shipwrecks do damage to his poor glaciers and I was totally not trying to get a Titanic reference off of that. And speaking of which, I barely watched it. So I'll expect 1,000 comments about how, oh, you should watch Titanic. But I'm probably not because I don't watch movies. But that's besides the point. So this is the last uh, part of the stage. There are some ice boxes that I didn't mention. And this cool section where you get to ride the snowstorm all the way to the boss corridor. I actually really like that part because... It's got some tricky dodging, and even if you can get cheap-shotted by the snow does if you're not careful, I, I, I do love it. So, Glacier Man here, as you can see, looks like Heat Man, and fighting him, he takes one damage per buster shot, and as you can see, he also has a very predictable pattern where he starts off shooting two icicles on the ground, and then he shoots one against the wall. Now... It's very easy if you're not careful to get trapped in a corner. That's why I try to make sure that I don't uh, get trapped with the, between an icicle and a, a wall. So if you do it right, you can actually run underneath him after he's finished when he's about to jump. So he's not too bad. Anyway, for that for beating him, we get the Frost Arrow, which I will be showing in the extras and eventually the outtakes. 
So next time we will go with Weatherman and this is Metapris. I'll see you for the extras and outtakes. See ya. Hey everyone, Tappers here again, and welcome to the extras of Glacier Man Stage. So, we acquired a weapon called Defrost Arrow, which we will demonstrate. But before that, just want to show that there are no ice physics. As you can see, nothing's happening. I guess it's maybe how the game was coded. So, using the Frost Arrow, it shoots a, well, Frost Shield Arrow forward, and if it hits an enemy, it encases them in ice, which kind of destroys them, and shoots a hundred thousand different frost arrows all over the place, which can wreck everything else. So, I haven't actually used this weapon, so it's actually not bad. Also, these uh, icicles, or I'm sorry, snowflakes, they also get destroyed as well if you shoot them. Uh, yeah. One other thing I want to show when I get to the next couple of screens, because I actually haven't mentioned this in the previous part. Also, it's not a piercing weapon, and you can only have one on screen. Okay, maybe the other arrows can actually pierce through. So anyway, we have the Barracuda robot here. So I'm going to go off the screen for a bit, and I'm going to go back. As you can see, enemies do not respawn. So... Yeah, there's that. At the same time, there is no rush adapters or any sort of platforming adapters in this game, so you don't have to worry about being screwed up weapon energy. So, there's that. So, on to the outtakes, and I'll see you for Weatherman. <laughs> 